Aries, what's going on with you? I hope you guys are doing lovely. As we are approaching February, I am inclined to give you guys, gift you guys, a just a general overview of what to expect in the month of February. What's going on with those Aries that I am connecting with? What message wants to come forth that they should be made aware of for the month of February? Okay, reconciliation flat out is what I'm seeing here. I'm seeing a relationship heal, okay? A relationship in which there's a, a notable amount of feelings for. Something that is uh, inductive of joyous energy, all right? Something that has the potential to, to, to go towards a quite romantic route. Okay, tell me more about this. This is beautiful energy, ladies and gentlemen. This is just happiness. This is pure, you know, just kinderness coming together with people that you enjoy or someone that you enjoy <clears throat> spending time with. All right. Someone in which the times that you've spent with this individual haven't always been that great. All right. In other words, there's been existent friction in this situation that is being relinquished and moved away from. All right. Yes, there's a sense of determination to continue to interact and close out the past. Okay, interesting. All right, guys, so clearly you're dealing with an existent relationship here that, that's just the prominent energy seems to be something joyous, exciting, something that cultivates healing, you know, kinderness, happiness, unity, and there's an element of determination to continue on this. So, yeah, I mean, clearly you guys are interacting with someone that that you're fond of and they are fond of you. Okay? Tell me more. <clears throat> wow. Guys, look, whatever it is that you're dealing with has potential for for uh for commitment, okay, to really moving toward an established relationship. However, the, there's an equal amount of potential for friction here. My question is, how truly compatible are you with this individual? How compatible is Aries with whomever it is that, that they are connecting with? Okay, one more card. How compatible are they? Wow, first I get... <clears throat> First, I get the page of coins, and then I get the queen of coins. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, in regards to the compatibility with whom it is that you are dealing with, it's possible. You can definitely, you know, experience whatever the hell you want. As you guys have heard me say, you are the magician, right? You're the first. This is card number one out of the entire tarot deck. You are the number one sign out of the entire zodiac. There is an affiliation here between... You know, your energy and this mercurial, mercurial, I don't like how that sounds, mercury energy. <laughs> Anyways, guys, what I'm saying here is that anything is possible with this individual. But one thing that I do want to make you aware of is whomever it is that you're dealing with is seeking something serious. Okay, so, so long that you seek something serious and you treat it appropriately, so long that you treat this relationship with respect that it deserves, man, the world is yours. All right, the world is your oyster. Or better said, your mate is your oyster. Okay? <clears throat> I'm going to call this Valentine's read. <laughs> All right, tell me more. Tell me more. Yeah, <laughs> I just keep getting this serious because I'm telling you, whom it is, uh, whomever it is that you are dealing with, ladies and gentlemen, they're coming to you, right? Like I mentioned, this is an existent relationship. They are embodying this energy of kinderness when it comes to interacting with you. They want to have a good time with you. They really want to enjoy you. They want to, they want to come closer together with you. And they're approaching you with, with a sense of seriousness, whether they, you know, make this overt or not. There is an element of seriousness when it comes to this individual's projection of energy. All right. When it projection of energy toward you. Beautiful. Aries, <clears throat> this is what I got for you. I'm going to leave it here, straight up. It, I'm telling you, I already gave it to you. 
this relationship could go right or left, you know, depending on how it is treated, how it's, you know, how it is dealt with. And it has positive potential. And the potential that exists here is upon your own hands, yours and whomever it is that you're dealing with. What is it going to turn out to be is up to you. All right. I'll see you guys around.